coalition of nations and no decision to fight back. In the moment between breaths, there is nothing. No hesitation. No doubt. No noise. Pierce the darkness. Take the shot. Hi guys, this is Cetrez and we meet again for a second video on t theorist Season 2. In this video, I will present you one of the best teams and combo to take advantage of this new meta of Season 2. As you probably know it, the battle holders have been removed in favor of the tactical deployment with the bonuses of different squares. If you remember that during the first season of TCS, only combat order could make the game less redundant because you were responsible for the combat order during the battle. It's important to know that from now, you can only move your soldier on different parts of the field in the middle, like in the middle, on the right or on the left of the battle. A new meta is emerging. Bliss or Sophia abilities, which are done damage on a predefined part of the field will disappear little by little because we'll be able to dodge them after this new season. The new meta will be oriented on soldiers like Alani or Nomad who have abilities that target soldiers only. The damage of areas will be from month to month powerful but the MP and care will gain in popularity. I will introduce you to an extremely strong PvP and free to play team with Hana while explaining how to optimize your synergy and the best combo to destroy all your enemies. On this way, allez, let's go! So I'm gonna explain you my best meta team composed by Hana, Doc, Caleb Dune, Kelzo and Nomad. So let's begin, let's talk about Caleb. His active ability is surrealist fires an explosive bolt at the current target, exploding in a 4 meter radius, damaging enemies for 50% ability power and causing them to burn for 50% ability power over 5 seconds. For each enemy, hit permanently increase all allies' weapon and ability power by 20%. Moreover, I want to explain to you why Halani is the best meta soldier. With her active ability, Burst of Firefly, she could launch Burst of Firefly that navigates into the current target and their two closest allies, attaching explosive charges, causing them to run in fear for 2 seconds, after which the charge explodes damaging all enemies in the 3 meter radius for 50% ability power. Indeed, I love the Sigshot ability of Nomad. He marks 3 enemies with the lowest health, then fires synchronized shots, dealing 150% ability damage to them and purging all of their positive effects. Any target below 35% of health is executed. So the big combo with Nomad and Alani, you could, you could damage all team and you could win all team. The three soldiers are meta because you could then counter them with a new deployment system. For example, you could counter easily Bliss or Gridlock zone damage with tactical deployment when you switch square by square. To finish, my team is accompanied by Anna and Doc. They are both available as a vendor in the prestige store. It's important to know that no soldier will be incoming on the two months in prestige store. So you could you could max Doc, Dokaibi and Anna before a new agent upcoming. In fact, two healer it's extremely powerful and very resistant, like season one meta. What is really excellent with this team is that you have two squared perks difference. Then in addition to being balanced in terms of synergy, your team becomes even stronger with the two squared perks. So now tell me your favorite team for this second season. We are on the way to take 1000 subscribers so share my channel as much as possible with all your friends who are fans of mobile games. I'm counting to you bro. Take care, it was Allez, ciao!